Hey there, and welcome to this week's live Prepare Like a Pro Friday show. Here, I'll be discussing this week's key topic all about how to launch a successful online coaching business in only 30 days. So if you're a strength and conditioning coach or a personal trainer, make sure to stick around as this episode is for you. And for all our footballers out there listening in, this week's power tip is how to add inches to your vertical jump. So make sure to stick around to the end to hear some of my best tips on improving your explosiveness. If you're new to the YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss an episode by hitting the notifications button. And let's get into today's episode. Now let's get into today's key topic. So as I discuss, it's all about how to launch a successful online coaching business in less than 30 days. So I've got five simple tips that coaches can follow, and I've followed all five of these tips with Prepare Like a Pro, which we started a couple of years ago. So first tip is to have a target audience. So who do you enjoy working with and um, what do they desire um, to achieve? What are some needs that they need to um work towards? Uh, do you have a skill set that can help those desires uh, and needs? And if if you do, then that's a good target audience. So have a, th- have a really good think about who do you want to work with? Maybe you have a current client base. Who are the clients that you particularly love to help with their goals? And then you can break it down onto what are their desires and their needs and do your skill sets um, f- help serve those roles and those uh, desires. Second step is to create a business name and claim all the social and searchable platforms. For example, Instagram, Facebook page, uh, Google My Business, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, you get the idea. So think of a business name that's catchy. Uh, It doesn't need to be anything fancy. Uh, Don't spend too much time on this second step, but it should be something that resonates with you. It speaks to what you're offering uh, it's ideally um, searchable, so it's got some uh, searchable words that are um, connected to your industry. So like Prepare Like a Pro, that speaks to what we do because we we help footballers with their physical preparation. So there's a connection there that makes sense. So, But at the same time, there's a lot of big companies out there like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, um, Google, um, that the, the name doesn't necessarily bring to mind what they are. They've created that through their own branding. So that's why I wouldn't recommend spending too much time um, pondering on a perfect name. Think of something that um, fits your industry and um, and go off your gut and and start just talking to it with a few friends and colleagues and see what sticks. Third step, um, create a business model. You want to try and have an idea of are you going to be a low ticket price uh, offering so therefore you're going to need high volume to be able to um, financially have a viable business so you're going to go low ticket high volume you're going to have a middle ticket um, price or are you going to be more your high ticket and low volume so thinking about what type of business model that you want to um, create is it going to be uh, online is it going to be face to face small group one on one or large groups. So thinking of the, how do you work best um, with your clients uh, and, and typically working out what your price structure looks like. And that should um, feed quite nicely to once you've created your target audience and you've got an idea of the typical age, what their likes and dislikes are, um, then you'll have an idea of how to be able to create a business model that, that serves them and is suitable. Fourth step, create a marketing strategy. So work out your uh, competitive advantage compared to the rest of the market. So that might be your coaching background. It could be you have a skill set like in marketing or videography. Um, So what's an area that you can stand out compared to the rest of the market? So research your competitors in the industry. What are they doing well? And then potentially where is there a gap in the market? And that might hopefully suit a asset that you have uh, or a skill set that you have. Or if you don't, then start researching some courses to better yourself in that area so you can stand out and um, have success more um, at a rapid rate. So things like, uh, are you going to be a writer? So is that a, an area that you um, love doing and, and comes naturally to you? Or are you more um, a podcaster, so creating audio content? Or perhaps you're really good in front of camera, so creating some video short form, long form uh, video content. So typically you'll have one out of those three that 
um, is more favorable to your skill sets and is more natural to you. And that would be the one I'd advise you to buckle down on and focus most of your energy on one of those three. And then once you've got to a certain point, then um, it doesn't hurt to have a venture out and have another, another add another string to your bow. Maybe you, you start with blog posts and then you go into a podcast, for example, once the blog post is um, up and running and, and successful. And then to round out the five tips, the fifth step is to get the word out there. So connect with advocates and influencers in your industry, those that you already have a strong relationship with, you might uh, catch up over coffee or over a Zoom and discuss your ideas and, and your offering for your target audience and whether you guys can help each other out. So is there a, um, an opportunity for, for businesses, like-minded businesses to help each other out? And that way you're helping their business uh, and helping them succeed. And no doubt by um, intending on doing that and helping others, that should start to pay dividends for yourself uh, and your business down the track. Uh, it might not be immediate, but it's a good place to just start and then you never know where those um, actions can lead to. So there are my five steps just to round it up. Target audience, make sure you get that and, and really um, niche, have a strong idea of who your target audience is and find your niche. Second step is create a business name that's catchy, but don't spend too much time trying to perfect it. Third step, um, make sure that you've got a business model um, that is consistent in terms of your price that you're offering and uh, how you get, and what services you're going to offer. Uh, it might be a mix of online and face-to-face, -face, but have an idea of um, how you're going to price structure that. F fourth step is to create a marketing strategy that works with your uh, skill set. And then fifth step is to get the word out there, start connecting with um, like-minded practitioners and, and your networks. This may seem like a lot of work, and it, and it sure is. Um, it's really important to break these tasks down into tangible goals that you can do each day over weeks, over months. It's amazing how much we can achieve in a month's time, um, but don't overwhelm yourself trying to do it all in one day. So break it down into small, tangible steps. And if you uh, are interested in having some guidance and a, and a roadmap, we are currently um, for, to the release our academy on the 1st of July leading up to that month, so in the month of June, for all the coaches on our wait list, and we still have 40 spots more available. So the 100 that make our wait list, we're going to have a special 30-day challenge on exactly this, so how to launch a successful online business. It's going to take you from um, step one all the way through to um, launching your own successful business uh, so that's a step-by-step -step process, and every day you'll have some tasks that you'll need to complete, and that will come through our email list. So if you're interested to not only join our membership, but also to get a free course, uh, coaching course on how to on, uh, release an online coaching business like Prepare Like a Pro, then join myself and the rest of the those on the wait list, the rest of the coaches. Join our community by heading over to preparelikeaproacademy.com.au power tip for footballers this week which we provide one every friday will be how to improve and increase inches on your vertical jump so firstly we need to be able to produce more force in the vertical vector so straight into the ground to be able to um, allow our body to move more distance up towards the air up you know, in the vertical plane so um, developing stronger legs is obviously um, really helpful for this task so think exercises like uh, heavy squats and heavy deadlifts where you're having to produce a lot of force and push uh, a lot of force into the ground. So that's really specific to improving uh, your ceiling in terms of maximum maximum force. So li at least lifting heavy once a week. That means low reps, loss of lots of rest period, and over a period of weeks you should be lifting a little bit heavier each week. Um, that's really, really important. Those movements should be quite slow because there's a lot of weight involved with those heavy lifts. Then on the other end of the spectrum, we've got your velocity-based work. So we want to produce force at a rapid rate. So this is where we, we do things like plyometrics, which is box jumps, barbell squat jumps, or dumbbell squat jumps, um, and any of your variations of, of those two. So we're jumping in that specific plane, which is vertical, and we're trying to produce a high amount of force as fast as possible. So that's where your intent is to move as fast as possible every rep. That's really, really important. So we're getting your strength in with the heavy lifting and then we're getting our power in with the with the plyometrics. And then the third tip is to, um, to improve our relative power 
we want to make sure that our body mass is lean. So if you're carrying a little bit of excess body fat percentage, then we want to try and drop that body fat. Um, and what we measure, we improve. So either getting a DEXA scan or seeing a practitioner that has medical grade skin calipers like myself to measure what your skin folds are and what are some areas that you need to do to, from a nutrition perspective to be able to reduce or, or conditioning and, and training perspective you need to do to try and um, have an optimal body composition for power production. So that's the three. Uh, get stronger, be able to produce more force at a rapid rate, and then body composition. Hopefully that helped, guys. Uh, typically, footballers can do a little bit too much and spend too much time and energy in hypertrophy, bodybuilding-type training, although this, this will get you aesthetic results. Uh, it is not going to uh, move the needle in terms of your explosiveness. So um, just be mindful of that. If you do want to get more powerful, you need to train um, that way. Uh, training um, slow, uh, uh, slow, high rep, low weight exercises um, won't necessarily or won't help that um, demand. So making sure that you're training specific and you've got a structure and a, and a coach helping you is really, really important. If you are looking to execute those exercises and you need some help, check out our Power Playlist. Um, it's called Power Playlist in on our YouTube channel, and we've got exercises and demos, uh, and that's obviously free. It's, on, it's living on our YouTube channel, so you can check that out. And then if you want to try out our High Performance Program, which has these exercises in it on Team Builder, you can start today a two-week free trial by heading over to our website, preparelikeapro.com, and head over to the free program page. The link will be in the show notes. Thank you, guys. We have seven more weeks until we, our academy is free. We've got an, a membership for footballers where all our football high-performance content will live in the membership, and we have a academy for coaches where all our coaching-specific content um, will live in the membership. So there's 40 spots left to join the wait list. All you need to do is head over to preparelikeaproacademy.com.au, enter in your name and an email address, and you will be on our email list where you'll receive that 30-day challenge that I talked about a little bit earlier. There's one for footballers where you'll be taking your game from amateur to a pro, and then there's one for coaches where you'll release your own successful business, or you might have already launched your own business and you just want to um, upgrade it. So follow that challenge, and no doubt you'll get some better results.